recent uploads uh, that I'm back and I am trying to vlog again and start making videos again. And today I basically wanted to share with you my new vlogging setup or hopefully my new vlogging setup uh, because when I was doing a bunch of the vlogs maybe a year and a half ago, uh, I think one of the biggest barriers to recording uh, and vlogging my days was how big and obnoxious my camera setup was. So if you want to take a look at the camera that I did use back then when I was vlogging, I have it right here recording for the intro of the Skyline. And it is this Sony a7 III. Uh, and I've got this huge Sigma 24 to 70 lens on it. And on top of that, I've got this microphone. So it is a Sony microphone that attaches to the hot shoe mount. And I specifically chose this particular microphone because it is a lot more discreet than the Rode microphones, which I also have. Um, a lot of those microphones have a huge, uh, like dead cat on it, that little uh, puffy thing that goes over the microphone to prevent wind noise. And it's just so big and obnoxious. So in the past, whenever I was vlogging, it was something that people would call out. They'd you know, kind of be like, what is that on top of the microphone? And I'm the type of person where I get really self-conscious if people are really calling out how big my, my camera is. So it makes me a lot less likely to record stuff just because I'm thinking about what other people are thinking when I'm carrying this huge camera around. And I'm sure a lot of you out there are very similar. So I wanted to share uh, my current setup, my current thinking. Uh, hopefully this setup will be uh, making me a lot more likely to vlog and record things as they're happening. Uh, but I wanted to basically take you through this build and how I did it. So if you are in the same situation as me, very self-conscious when you have a huge camera, carrying a huge camera around recording, uh, maybe this is something you might want to try out for your own setup. All right, let me take you through a very quick walkthrough of this setup. And it's very simple. Um, the camera that I'm using is my Sony a6300. Uh, this tends to be, you know, I think one of the smaller but nicer cameras that does 4K and also slow-mo and all of that. Uh, and on that, I have got the Sony 10-18 OSS lens. Um, so this is a nice wide lens and it's also very small in comparison to the Sigma that I have been using. I also have the uh, G Master lenses, which are also very big for a wide angle, but this is a very nice, small, compact setup in terms of the lens and the camera body. And for the microphone, because I am not happy with the onboard microphone on this camera, definitely need something a little bit better. Uh, I am using the uh, Rode Wireless Go. So this is the wireless setup. So you've got a transmitter and a receiver. And another interesting detail about this is that I bought this 3D printed, what's called a cat hugger, um, because this little poofy wind muff here, uh, it's much smaller than the, the wind muffs on the Rode microphones and even on my Sony microphone, but it has a very loose connection onto uh, this receiver. And I've done all the tricks and uh, in terms of trying to get it to stick uh, pretty firmly onto the receiver, but it's still, not that great. I've actually lost one already um, when trying to use it. So I went on eBay and a lot of people make these 3D printed uh, pieces that basically go over the Rode uh, receiver and it basically holds the uh, dead cat into place. So I've got that on there because since I am going to be, um, you know, running and gunning with this microphone uh, on top of this camera, don't want to lose another one of these. So this basically firmly holds it into place so I could, you know, pocket this thing, just throw it around, throw it into a bag without fear of this thing just falling off and disappearing on me. And to kind of show you how I've got this all set up in this camera to make a really compact setup, um, we've got the transmitter, which has an attachment at the bottom that goes directly on top of the hot shoe mount. Um, you've got this wire. I basically wrap it around so it's not really dangling that much. And we've got it now there into the microphone jack. And as far as this part, for the most part, I travel around with it in my pocket. And when I want to record, I'll basically whip it out. Um, but to have it attached to the camera, I'm using this Velcro strip. And it's a very specific type of Velcro strip. I've got a little piece of it here on the bottom. Um, and then on the other side, I have attached the Velcro piece on the bottom here. So when I basically stick this on like that, 
uh, we now have a super compact setup. And when you see a lot of other vloggers, they've got that big chunky thing on top of the uh, camera. But the fact that I'm putting this on the bottom, it's almost concealed because the way I hold the camera, it's just kind of hidden behind my hand and it's not so big and obnoxious. Uh, and this is more or less how I record. And the other good thing about this is, you know, with these shotgun mics, they're only facing forward. Um, but because I've got this on the bottom, I could then take it off. And if I am doing voiceovers, I could have it pointing back towards my mouth. Or, you know, if I wanted to capture everything, I put it off to the side. Um, and to the side is kind of the most common setup that I do. So I could basically capture, you know, if I'm voicing over and also if I'm pointing at the camera at someone, um, it's also recording them. And this thing more or less is just super compact. It looks like I'm just carrying just a regular camera. So to just give you all an idea of how small and compact this is when I am wearing this thing around my neck with my big poofy winter coat on, it looks like I'm just carrying a regular old camera. It doesn't look like I'm trying to put together a huge movie production or anything. So this thing is just super compact and I could easily just vlog with this thing without people just questioning and asking, what are you doing? Are you recording? Um, so just letting it sit there uh, makes it look like just a regular old camera that I'm just shooting with. I think one of the interesting things to note, so the only real special thing here is this Velcro piece. I've tried a bunch of different types of Velcro and uh, some of them don't really hold well. Some of them are really, really floppy when you uh, attach it. So this is a very specific type of Velcro. It's kind of this pinhead uh, design on the actual Velcro pieces. And it has a really, really firm connection when you uh, connect it on. So while I might not bike with this attached on the bottom like this, I'll usually just pocket it. Um, it does hold a pretty firm grip. So I wouldn't be too scared if I'm just, you know, running around with this thing, holding it handheld and recording. I'm not too afraid that it will fall off. Uh, definitely probably wouldn't do it while on my back while biking. Uh, but this more or less is a pretty solid setup. So with this, as you can see, really tiny, really compact. Um, I feel like I am much more likely to carry this around and to record with this in front of a bunch of other people without fear of thinking about what other people are going to think about this huge setup that I've got. Uh, but that's pretty much the uh, camera setup that I've got. Um, maybe you want to try this out for yourself, but this is what I'm going to be uh, trying to record a bunch of my future videos with. So hope you find this helpful. Uh, if you want me to keep sharing a bunch of these other tutorials of things that I've crafted to kind of solve some of my own problems with trying to use equipment, uh, please like and subscribe to this video and I'll do more of them. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'm gonna stay in, catch a Super Bowl, and I'll catch you in my next video. Thank you.